Yo, YouTube, y'all see this haircut? Y'all like how I did this? Right now, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and stick with the video. Watch the whole thing. I'm about to show y'all how I did this. Look at that tape. Look at that line. And everything crispy on it. That Look at that beard. Even though he ain't had that much on his hair, it's still crispy. I mean, even though he ain't had that much on his beard, it's still crispy. So, look. Y'all, I'm about to give y'all some real game right now. I'm about to give y'all everything and how I did this haircut and how it came out like this. Step by step. So if y'all want y'all haircuts to come out like this, watch this whole video and pay attention. Alright YouTube, first thing you want to do, I'm about to break it down. You want to comb the hair. You want to comb the hair, make sure you know every, way, every angle of hair is going, which way. You know what I'm saying? You see all the calyx, all the swirls and all that. But... For him, I've been cutting his hair for a minute, so I know his hair good. And he got a mean swirl in the front that I'm gonna um, go ahead and get it, get out the way. But we combing it right now, laying it down, and then we're gonna make it crispy. We're gonna make the lining crispy and everything, make the haircut look good. You know what I'm saying? Step by step, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Cause I know for young barbers out there, that's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to y'all about to give out some game. All right, look. So now we got that one. We got the one on the wall designers, and we're gonna go with the grain on it. That's exactly what we're doing. We're just gonna take this, go with the grain. We close them all the way up, and we're going with the grain. Taking it dark, but we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Cause, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got time to waste. It's even all over right here so far. It's all basically, you know what I'm saying? That one guard on there, going with the grain on it, you know what I'm saying? Knocking everything down, making it smooth, making everything nice and neat. Okay, here we go. And we're going to start with that back taper. First thing you want to do is open your clippers all the way up and go against the grain. You go up not too high, like halfway. Then you want to go up. Keep going up. All right. Now, we got that guard on there now. So now we got the guard on there, what we about to do is we're going to flick up. You see we got the clipper in our hand and the um, comb. The comb never leaves. The comb never leaves your hand. I keep telling y'all that over and over again. I'm going to keep saying it over and over. The comb never leaves your hands. You flick out and comb, flick out and comb. We're going to keep doing this method for about until mm, everything is, comes together. It may take a minute at first, you know what I'm saying? If you're a beginner, kind of like beginners like to slow stroke with the clippers. That's cool and all. But remember, if you do that, just flick out. As long as you're flicking out, you're good. Me, I move kind of fast because I've been doing this for a minute. I've been cutting here for about, well, 15 years now. So I've been doing this for a minute. So I know how to move, right? You know what I'm saying? And plus, this is my reg one of my regular clients. I know how his hair is. I know exactly where his swirls at. I know exactly where his soft, soft spots at, hard spots at. You know what I'm saying? I know everything. So that's all we're doing. Now we're hitting with the liner. But these are the um the babeless, if y'all don't know. The babeless liners. The silver ones. I like these too. These cold too, though, because they ain't all that sharp. Because I just realized that, like, all three of the babies, clippers, the blades on there are different. Like the go the rose gold ones, those are my top ones. Those the best to me. Next is the gold ones, cause those they cool, but they kinda they get sharp sometimes. And these right here, these number three. But three they ain't least though, cause these are good. Don't, don't get me wrong, cause these light. And what I mean by light is they not that sharp. So I'll be putting these on kids and everything. And they come out real crispy. Now we starting the line though. We see we went Worked our way from the middle to the right. We just tapping it, touching it. Like if the, based on your clippers, like sometimes these clippers be clean already, where they come out the box perfect. You really don't gotta adjust them. So all you gotta do is just tap it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Tap the hair a little bit. And that's all you gotta do. You ain't gotta dig in the skin too much. I see a lot of um, new barbers. That's one thing they do is they dig in the skin, but it's just a light touch. And when you realize it, then that's when you'll be like, dang, all this time. I've been doing this and been doing that. But you know, it takes practice. Like I said, I've been doing this for a minute, so I know everywhere. Now he looking crazy looking, but it's cool. We're gonna get him all the way together though. <laughs> you, you're like half line and half nut. Okay, y'all see we calm that down. Make sure we see where every piece of hair in the front was going. And we're gonna touch it. Going over it. Like you can go over it probably like more than once after you put the first line on it. Because you step back and you want to check it out. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you do that. You can go back over it. Just don't keep... If you see like the hair start... The lining start getting red. Or his skin starting to get irritating by you keep pressing on it with the clippers. 
just cool out and just give it a break. Because that's like irritating and then it's going to leave a scar and a whelp and then they're going to come back and it's going to be, it's going to look crazy. Now you got the Barber Magic Pinch. Like this is one of the things that I love enhancements. The Barber Magic Pinch was like one of my favorite enhancements out of all. I like this more than the black, I think. And the reason why I say that is because with this, it makes it look more natural than the black. Because the black fiber is cool, but this makes it, just give it that ass fresh out the shower look. You know, like, if you wash a client's hair, put them under the dryer, then cut his hair and line it, it's going to automatically look crispy. So this is how this looks. The automatically crispy look. Uh-oh, we tapering in that, so we started open all the way up and we flicking out. You see that? That flicking motion? Always keep that flicking motion. Don't never go up. People, you, I mean, you go up, but we flicking. Up and out, up and out, up and out. Don't just keep, just don't go up. Just don't go up, up, up. Because that's how you leave a line and add another line in it. You keep doing that. You don't want to do that. You want to flick out. Adjust your clip if you close on that and we still flicking out. No matter what we doing, we flicking out, we fading. I don't care, like, if you, the blade, if the guard all the way open, all the way closed, it don't matter. Flick out, just flick it out. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep flicking. Now we got our fibers. We just hitting a little bit just to keep it dark still. You know, see, as you see how it's looking, it don't, it don't look crazy, it look kinda natural. It don't like, it don't like we caked it all up. I know a lot of people be caking stuff up and cake it up. We want it to look natural as possible. Then we going over the liner one more time. Like I said, these liners are soft. They got a soft touch to them so it don't hurt. You can go over, over and over again with these liners. It don't hurt, I love these liners. Doing the beard now, touching it. And even though like you have some clients who really don't have a beard on their face, you can always finesse it. You line it up like they do got a beard, and then you can add the barber magic pencil on there, just lightly, and it'll look like it's something. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's not nothing or it is, just make it look good. You can always make it look good and finesse. It. Like the barber, that's all the barber industry is: is is learning, getting hair, and finessing. <laughs> And when I say finesse, because like every year, some, every matter of fact, I'm going to say every day, every day something new come out that make the whole barbering thing easy. It make the whole game easier. People get left behind. New people come up and come, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Because like now he look like he got a beard on it. Like that's a finesse. Like females finesse too with them lashes and all that other stuff and the wigs and all that. Like. It's so crazy because it's, it's like a whole makeover. Another thing about like these fibers, like I would tell y'all, first learn master the fibers first before you do it, because then it's gonna look crazy. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to look crazy at all. Okay, you got a clippers on there. You going from the middle to the left. Basically, every thing we did to that one side, we do it to this side. Just touch it, keep it crisp. And we was, uh, I was kind of saying, we was talking about them Jordans that came up, Jordan 1s. If y'all bought them Jordan 1s, the red and black and white ones, y'all comment below. <laughs> Let me know uh, what size y'all got. I just want to know. That's what we're doing, we're touching it up now. And keeping it clean. Just hitting it. You know what I'm saying? You want to make your haircut look neat as possible. You don't really got to be nothing big. You ain't got to do too much. You just want to make it look nice and neat. And that's exactly what we're doing. And we're hitting it with the Barber Magic Pencil again. Like I said, I love enhancements. I know some a lot of barbers that's against enhancements. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against them. But I know, like, these younger guys and the new generation, they want it. So either you're going to get left behind or you're going to get down. I had to get down because when I was doing it regular, people were going to come in. They would ask for it. They'll see you, you do, doing the enhancements. They see somebody else not doing the enhancements. They're going to look at their barber and be like, well, can I get that? Then when you be like, no, nah, I don't do that. they okay, cool. Next time they come in, they're going to come for you. They'll go straight to the one with the enhancements. I've seen it happen a lot of times. i seen people have to get out other people's chairs after a nice haircut. It's clean. Then they come to you, can you put some fibers on me? And I'd be like, nah, because I ain't cut your hair. 
but I could charge you for it though. You know what I'm saying? They can they can be like if I got 10, 15 bucks extra, you know what I'm saying? If you put the fibers on whatever he, you know what I'm saying, on the haircut that he did, you bet. So it is ways you can make money with it, you know what I'm saying? I had to charge you. Especially if I didn't do it. Cause that's like I'm putting my signature, I'm spray painting on somebody else's canvas. You know what I'm saying? I don't like doing that. But anyway, back to the haircut. Y'all see we still be flicking out. And everything, like I said before, everything we did on that side, we're doing to this side. So we're going to flick up and calm. Calm and flick out. Calm and flick. That's what you want to do with these clips. You want to calm and flick. Never put another line in it. Never. So when, you, when you don't flick out, you add another line, and it's going to make the haircut worse. And you got to keep going up. And then eventually this... Taper gonna have to turn to a low fade. That's probably what he didn't want. Hitting it with the um, fibers again. Like I said, don't press too hard. Don't do too much. Just tap it. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Something slight. And we going back over it again. If your liners are really, really sharp, if you can't go over that head like two, three times without the lining hurting or turning red, I mean, if you go over it two, three times, and the line and turning red and hurting, just adjust your clippers. Because you doing it wrong. You should be able to go over it more than once. And they skin should turn red or whelp up or nothing like that. Touching his mustache. Man, everything we did to that side, we doing this side. It's easy. You just got to master confidence. Now you see about to finesse it. You made the beard look like it was there. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of hair there. We finessed it. Made it look good. Made it look nice. We flick out. Same thing we did the last side. <laughs> Easy. Now here we go. The haircut, the finished product. That's what we did. The, exact, the same haircut that was in the beginning. I gave y'all all the steps on how to do it. All the steps. There you go. Easy. Look at that. That taper clean. Like I said, it's clean taper. We finessed the line a little bit. Put the little enhancements in there. Made it look natural as possible, though. The waves hidden. Everything look good. It look nice and neat. Look presentable. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice taper, classy taper for you. And yo, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Give me feedback. I'm going to be feeding that back on y'all, too. If y'all a barber, tag me in the comments. If y'all got a barber page. And I'm gonna follow y'all back and I'm gonna interact with y'all videos too. I'm gonna comment under y'all videos and let me, you know what I'm saying? I can, I'll be getting advice from y'all too. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let's interact with each other. Peace out, YouTube.